Hi, I'm Doug Zorowski, and I've been a pharmacist for over 20 years, recently serving as a director of pharmacy. One of the key questions that I'm asked about kit check is, how hard is it to tag medications? The simple answer is, it's very easy. My assistant, Jen, will demonstrate in just a moment. But first, let's answer the question, why use RFID tags at all? Well, RFID is fast. It's like putting a tiny wireless computer on every medication so they can count and verify themselves. Instead of pharmacists and technicians verifying each and every dose, RFID scans within five seconds. You can see that the RFID tag is embedded in a standard label. Jen will now demonstrate how RFID labels are applied to medications. Hi, I'm Jen. Today I'll be playing the role of the pharmacy tech. When tagging medications, we typically recommend that you start with a box of medications that has the same lot and expiration date. To start the tagging process, I'll take a vial of medication, scan the NDC, and KitCheck automatically recognizes the NDC number. Next, I'll take a look at the lot number. The expiration date tells me that it is August 1st of 2016 and then I'll specify the number of tags I want to print. You'll notice on the right hand side, it shows me a print preview of what the kit check tag will look like. If everything looks great and I'm satisfied with the turnout, then I can select print. Most state boards of pharmacy require a final pharmacist verification. Thanks, Jen. The first step is to verify that the RFID label information matches the manufacturer's label information. Next, we place it into the scanning station and click Scan. They are ready for use in kits. The verification step is electronically logged for Joint Commission and Board of Pharmacy review. The entire process takes about 10 seconds per item. And since every item is scanned between 13 and 16 times before being used or expired, the savings add up very quickly. For more information, go to kitcheck.com.